Do you know what the 10 most violent cities in America are? They are St. Louis, Detroit, Baltimore, Memphis, Little Rock, Milwaukee, Rockford, Cleveland, Stockton, and Albuquerque. And I've noticed a pattern about these cities. For context, 368.9 violent crimes per 100,000 Americans is our national average. Number 10, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 1,369, or 3.7 times the national average for crime. Last time they elected a Republican as mayor was 2009, Richard J. Berry. Number nine, Stockton, California, 1,415, or 3.8 times the national crime average. They currently have a Republican mayor, Kevin Lincoln. Number eight, Cleveland, Ohio, with 1,557, or 4.2 times the national crime average. Last time they elected a Republican was 1980 with George Vonovich. Vonovich? Vonovich. I am famous for how I pronounce people's last names. Coming in at number seven, Rockford, Illinois, 1,588, or 4.3 times the national average. Last time they elected a Republican was in 1957 with Benjamin Scheisler. Scheisler? Yeah, these people need better names. Number six, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, with 1,597, or 4.32 times the national average. Gerald Adolph Batting was mayor from 1912 to 1916 but he was on the Republican Democrat ticket. Weird, I know. See, Emil Scheidel was the mayor before him and he was a no good, dirty socialist. So the two main parties, Republicans and Democrats, they teamed up for the 1912 election to beat him. I couldn't find what political party Gerald Adolph Batting was actually a part of. But before him, Sherburn Merrill Becker was the last elected Republican mayor from 1906 to 1908. Little Rock, Arkansas, 1,634, or 4.4 times the national crime average. From 1957 to 1994, people of Little Rock would vote for a board of directors, and then that board would decide who'd be the mayor for two-year terms. I couldn't find a single Republican who's ever been the mayor there. The majority of their mayors that I googled, they didn't have any kind of public political affiliation. But from 1889 to 1990, Floyd Buddy Villanus served as mayor, and not only was he Methodist, but he also earned a Bronze Star during Vietnam. So maybe he was Republican, but they have not had a single registered Republican as their mayor, ever. The entire city's history, never a Republican. Number four, Memphis, Tennessee, with 2003, or 5.4 times the national crime average. Last time they elected a Republican, 1874, John LeGaul, over 140 years ago, ladies and gentlemen. Number three, Baltimore, Maryland, with 2027, or 5.5 times the national crime average. Last time they elected a Republican as mayor, Theodore McCline, 1963. Number two, Detroit, Michigan, with 2000, 57 or 5.6 times the national crime average. Last time they elected a Republican, 1957, Louis Marani. And coming in at number one, St. Louis, Missouri, with 2,082 or 5.64 times the national crime average. Last time they elected a Republican, 1943. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this stupid guy's name. I'm glad we name our kids better stuff. Only three of the top 10 most violent cities have had a Republican mayor in the last 40 years. Those three being Albuquerque, Stockton, and Cleveland, which are the three least violent cities of our 10 most violent. So, I'm sure this is just an absolutely weird coincidence that means nothing whatsoever. I still can't figure out why anyone thinks Democrats are the party that supports criminals. It just doesn't make sense.